Hi, this week's Nemu Monday is being shot from the Japan Open Nemu Championship and we are about to find out the final results. Can everybody say hi? Hi! Oh, annyeonghaseyo! So how do you do well at a memory championship? The first thing is you should know where you are. Remember when it starts. So our competition started yesterday at 12 p.m. and it was on, at Musashino Place on conference room 4th floor. The Musashino Place looks like this. It, I think it's in a nearby a station called Musashi Sakai, maybe. And yeah. To keep well fed during the competition, it's good to have prepared food because sometimes there won't be beautiful cafes like here, and you're just gonna have to improvise with food. And preferably, you already know what you can and cannot eat in the country that you're competing in. And so, I usually go to a family mart and buy umeshu, not umeshu, ume onigiri. So, yeah. And also, when you can, do aerobic training by going up the stairs and such during the breaks. So, if the competition is in a country with low air pollution, I usually prefer to take uh, longer walks or fast walks, fast paced walks during the breaks because that keeps your brain kind of active and alert. This place, Family Mart, is my favorite go to stop to buy groceries and snacks. I prefer to get the plain yogurt drink and sometimes I'll do one of these squeeze squeeze smoothies and to do less carb heavy things you can buy any of these kind of beans and bags that I just eat raw. Occasionally I'll do one egg because I need protein and not that many eggs. And if I'm super hungry I break the um, no carb rule and I get a ume, a plum onigiri, or a plum and bean onigiri, only the vegetarian ones. You could probably eat the non-vegetarian ones, but um, Jonas is a vegan and he did pretty well and was world memory champion twice, so I also prefer to not slaughter too many animals unnecessarily and contribute to global warming. Another good thing to remember is to bring your um, flag and because I still have a hard time finding a Mongolian flag in Texas, I am left without a flag, but everybody else got a flag, woohoo! Philippines, China and India. At every competition there are 10 disciplines, every traditionally ranked competition there are 10 disciplines. The first one is usually names and faces. This is to certify that Yendra has been awarded first place in 5 minute names and faces. So I memorized 68 names in 5 minutes. Uh, in training I usually do 100 or more, but it's also because in competition there's pressure and usually the names are a little harder than in training. Um, hi! Hi! This is Gigi Xinqi. Ooh! Memory Monday! The second discipline of yesterday was 5 minute words. This is to certify that Yendra has been awarded first place in 5 minute words. So you get 5 minutes to memorize as many words as possible and I tried to go for the world record which is more than 140 or if I got more than 140 I would have gotten the world record. But I made one mistake and I got 130 because the scoring is that harsh but I still made first place so I'm pretty happy. The third discipline of yesterday was 5 minute binary numbers. This is to certify that Yenja has been awarded first place in 5 minute binary numbers. The word world record for memorizing ones and zeros in 5 minutes, the most ones and zeros in 5 minutes, is currently held by Mongolian Saog Dosumik Toya and it is 1170 and your dear girl got 795. So I'm getting there but Sauga is on another level right now. The fourth discipline out of the ten disciplines was speed numbers. I got third place in speed numbers. I memorized 360, I should have memorized more, and I didn't take enough risks and that's how I ended up in third place in this discipline. 73 da fictional dates and the dates are usually something like a fake uh, event, fake historical event, and then a fake uh, historical year. So it'll be like 2045, flying cars, 
uh, starts in Shinjuku or something like that. One day I'll be good at fictional dates, but it is not this day. The sixth discipline that was the final discipline of yesterday that made me super, super, super happy was uh, a thing called 10 minute cards. So in 10 minute cards, you try to memorize as many shuffled decks of cards as possible. So 52 cards per deck. And I went for eight decks, which means 416 cards. And I got all of them right. So obviously, I have been certified as being awarded first place in 10 minute cards. Yay. It always feels amazing when you have no mistakes. When you try for a set amount and you do all of those. So I'm currently backstage because we still don't know the final results of the competition, but there are because there are certificates to print out and final scores to compile and yeah, I can give the results, my own results from the last four disciplines of day 2. 15 minute numbers, 30 minutes recall, I did 760, I tried for 840 and I still got two rows wrong, but 760 is still a personal competition best, so I should be happy about that I suppose. And I ended up in second place in 15 minute numbers because of that. In spoken numbers, I got shared second place with three other people. We got 100 spoken numbers, right? Um, yeah, it's uh, one digit spoken at one second at a time, and then you have five minutes to write them down. Oh, I forgot. So images is actually the second discipline of the day. Uh, I currently have the world record for that. It's 354 images in five minutes, and I did way less than that because I don't know why, I think I just lost track of what I was doing and I got 283, which landed me in second place in that discipline. I really wanted to get 383, but sometimes you just, you're just you just not in the zone, so I gotta train a little harder to be more consistent in images. And the final discipline, the one that can change the result and change the standings and where everything you've been working so hard for, for so long, comes to and then, depending on how you do in this discipline, called speed cards. Speed cards is exactly what it sounds like. A shuffle deck of card in as fast a time as possible. Current world record is held by Alex Mullen at something like 14 or 15 seconds, I think. I got 22.034 seconds on my first trial, so I'm super happy it's a competition best, and it might actually be a personal best overall. So that's it. Let's see how the competition results end up being, and who comes out on top, and who wins. I came in first place, we <laughs> Rule number one is that you gotta have fun. And no competition would be good without the arbiters. How did it go? I'm tired. <laughs> yes, yeah, very, very <laughs> okay. You ready? One, two, three. Hi! Hi. <laughs> Good job! If you want to see more awesome videos and want to know tricks on how to become a memory champion in your own life, then please subscribe on youtube.com slash yanja, facebook.com slash I am yanja, uh, instagram.com slash yanja, or yanja.com. So hopefully, hopefully I will actually post next week. Bye!